I'm so pumped. Three days, three days of diving, camping. Well, sleeping in the back of the car, but this camping, it's gonna be mean, so. Look at this, sun's just peeking up above that first cloud, getting a bit of light, so yeah. Better quickly down this coffee, get that witty on and we'll, we'll rip into it, see if we can find some nice early morning snapper. Aim is to live off the seafood for a few days, so yeah, we'll go get a, a nice snapper or something so we can cook up some fish wraps for dinner, lunch. Starting the dive off, immersing myself into the cold winter water. It's gloomy, a bit airy, there's not much current, quite a bit of particulate in the water, so it's a bit dirty. It's all good. It means I can get closer to fish, that's my thinking. Anyways, I'm cruising along here, just scoping out these ledges, drop offs. Looking for any snapper that might just be parked up, half asleep from the night before. As I keep diving down, just scoping out the terrain, getting a feel for the area. There's been some big storms recently. You can see all the kelp is ripped off from its stalks and it's just lying there in all the gutters. Lots of kelp. Here's a few urchin species, the long spined type here. Here's our famous kinner, not my cup of tea, but I love feeding them to the snapper. I spot the shimmering tails of some snapper lurking behind this big clump of weed here. Diving down, creeping around the side, trying to ambush them. They must have sensed me first. Nowhere to be seen. Bugger. There's quite a vast variety of species around, all the usual subjects. Here's a nice big mature pigfish cruising around. Here's some beautiful red moki. I follow them as usually they swim back to their caves where they live and where there's caves there's normally crayfish. Sure enough I see the feelers of one in this nice little crack. I'm stoked my trick always pays off the old red mokies. The old follow the, follow the red moki into the crack it always works eh? <laughs> Let's go have a look what that lobster is. The moki are still there, guarding the crayfish for me. I get down into position, it looks like a good size. It's deep into this crack, so I just go for it. Manage to grab hold of the horns and wrestle it out of its home. It's a pack horse lobster. As you can see it's green coloration, quite a distinct difference to the red crayfish. Unfortunately it's actually a bit smaller than I thought, so 
let that one go back down. I've crushed up a few sea urchin kinna. There's a burly to bring in some snapper. 20 minutes have gone by. I come down to the ledge. I'm hiding in the kelp. I creep around the corner. But unfortunately it's just a few wrasse and moki, a pigfish, a few other species. Not my targets today. Well, so far, guys, um, pretty green and dirty. A few fishing spots. Spooked a huge snapper. Had a few chances on some smaller snapper. I'm just not, um, you know, not, not desperate just yet. This wind's really starting to pick up now and getting choppy. So I'm going to head out. Head out and tuck around the corner, get some shelter, and uh, yeah, let's keep exploring and we'll see if we can pick up a fish or crayfish or both for dinner. I'm pretty confident we'll find something, so yeah, let's get out of this wind and um, it'll be a bit more enjoyable. So let's move. I've jumped in at the new spot, sinking down, I'm creeping around through the kelp beds, checking cracks and crevices, and I find a empty pack horse lobster shell here. Always a good sign to find empty shells, it means there's most likely more crayfish or lobster in the area. I spot a moray eel here, he's a bit camera shy so backs up into his cave. It's nice terrain here, as you can see lots of boulders and cracks and crevices and caves. Perfect for crayfish. Sure enough I find a nice crack here and spot some feelers of a nice big crayfish. I make my way back to the surface, get a nice breathe up and make a plan of attack. Sinking back down, I position myself the best I can. It's an awkward fit. Spots like this, you just can't get in there with scuba gear. The crayfish senses me, starts to retreat slightly and I go in for the grab. Just evades my grip. It's bouncing all around in the cave in here, then he flies out and hits me in the head. I grab him and at the same time he grabs me. Perfect, I've got him. He's trying to rip my hood off, but I make my way back to the surface with a nice crayfish in hand. spot this pack horse lobster from the surface. Looks to be missing one antenna, feeler, maybe someone else has had a go at him, or a snapper, who knows. It doesn't look quite legal size so let the guy go. We've got a seal here on the water, I think. Yeah, it might be a dead seal. Go, go have a look. Oh, false alarm, just a plastic bag. Grab that. Keep the oceans clean. Oh, guys, 
prepare it to have a spot and uh, jump in, have a look around, still nice and sheltered, feeling, uh, feeling a bit confident, we'll find something. Leave it, huge snapper. Saw me before I saw him. Hard going, guys. I saw that one nice snapper in there. He saw me before I saw him. Often the case of snapper, they're very clever. Um, wind's picking up, so. Oh, just found this awesome little little beach here, rocky beach, and sometimes you just gotta take time out of your dive trips and just have a break, chill out on the beach. Awesome little spot. It actually looks really good diving, all these rocky outcrops here, so might jump in soon. We'll just have a look what's around here. Amazing cliffs. Lots of seaweed. Look at these cool little sponges. Really soft. Mmm, skunky. Really cool though. A lot of seaweed. Such an awesome coastline.
Oh, well, had a nice little break on the beach. Warmed up in the sun, it's pretty cold. Still in the middle of winter here in New Zealand, so. Warmed up, let's get back into it. Let's go find some dinner. I jump in at a new spot down the coast. It's all new terrain. I'm just getting to grips with the, the layout of this piece of coastline. I finally find a nice crack running along this ledge. It's looking promising and sure enough, it's not long before I spot a nice pack horse lobster sitting in the hole here. Go in for the grab, get hold of his horns, in and out, in and out, tussle, finally rip him out of his hole. It's a beautiful lobster, awesome. These things are dinosaurs, they can grow up to 14 or 15 kilograms. Pretty hard to come by one of them that big these days, however, but you never know. Alright, woohoo hoo, course lobster, I find another pack horse lobster here under this boulder, definitely a bit too small. You can start to learn after diving for a while how to gauge a crayfish or lobster off the size of the feelers, um, it's a good giveaway. Anyways in this case it was too small and I move on. Nice terrain, lots of cracks. Here's another few lobster sitting in a hole here, these look a bit bigger so I go in for the grab. Driving back down I notice a nice big scorpion fish sitting here. Beautiful large mature fish here. I'd normally take these as they are beautiful eating, otherwise known as poor man's crayfish for a reason. Great tasting. I'm on a three day trip though. Just need enough for a feed for dinner. So let him go. Woohoo! Oh guys, a couple of lobsters in the bag. Stoked! Look at that, couple of, uh, couple of pickies, nice big pickies, and this red, biggest red I've ever got, woo -hoo -hoo. stoked, <laughs> how's that, hey big boy, hey, talons on him, oh yeah, so, gonna get back, get warm, and uh, have a cook up, let's have some lunch. Woo. Success! Ah, back on the beach guys. warm again and we're just heating up some water gonna get a coffee in me oh nice afternoon pretty stoked for for day one of this three-day diving trip got a couple of lobster a couple of crayfish so yeah stoked as
Oh, fresh cup of hot coffee. All right, guys, we'll do some fresh lobster wraps. Got some veggies here. Put our tortillas, little corn chips, butter, cheese, mayo. Gonna be delicious. We even got a bit of chili oil, fatties, good stuff. Some salt. Let's do it. We'll keep the rest. Pack horse legs are my favorite. Do them up with butter and sweet chili or just chili. Bit of salt in, the, in a wok, just get it all together. Oh, my favorite, but um, wraps it is today. Alright, we've got all our beautiful pack horse meat here out of the tail. Just gonna chop that up quite fine and uh, just fry that up in a little bit of butter, sort of light fry. And then we're gonna get a bit of salad going and yeah, tasty as. Get some salt on there. Some cheese. Get a bit of lemon juice in there. Don't want to overdo it. Oh, fresh as. Grab a bit of that. Looks good enough to me. You want to have it just cooked. Oh, beauty. Some salad. Pretty simple little mixture. Oh, just a touch of the chili oil. Let's give it a little bit of kick. There we go, a little drizzle. Beautiful. Fresh pack horse, fresh pack horse lobster wraps. How's that? Right, time to just kick back, enjoy the afternoon. Do the tastiest, I suppose. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Um, I've always been a big backer of the pack horse crayfish, pack horse lobster. They get a, a bit of a bagging. A lot of people say the red red crayfish tastes better, but I don't know. These are these are awesome, eh? They're, they're quite a, a mild taste, but if you cook them up right, they are just really delicious. I find they're more tender most of the time. Oh, that's just beautiful. Right, I'm just going to enjoy these while they're nice and fresh and warm, so we'll, we'll catch up soon. Well guys, that was well worth uh, braving the, 
the cold winter water and um, it was a bit of a struggle but hey got a few a few crayfish lobster and had a mean cook up that was that was insanely good tasting um yeah i haven't had a pack horse pack horse lobster for a couple of years so that was um yeah that was that was a treat um yeah having another coffee getting chilly got that beanie on Whew. so yeah coffee down the hatch and uh, we're gonna cruise on up the country and find another place to park up for tonight and hit it again tomorrow so yeah stay tuned for the for the next segment of this this big dive trip hey if you're new to my channel and you like that and you want to see more uh, hit subscribe thanks for coming along guys for the adventure and stay tuned for that next episode if you want to support my channel check out primalpursuit.co.nz for my merch um, otherwise yeah like share comments awesome anyways stay tuned stay safe out there guys cheers